Hi, I'm Melissa Shannon from Digital Scrapbooking HQ.com and today I'm here to introduce you to Photoshop Elements 10. When you open Photoshop Elements, this is the first screen you'll see. Depending on what you want to do, you can choose the Organize button or the Edit button. Organize is where you import and manage your photographs. Edit is where you can edit your photos, create a photo book, digital scrapbooking pages, cards, collages and many other different projects. I'm going to head into the edit module. When you open up the editor, this is the first screen you'll see. There's a range of menus up the top. There's also our favourite undo button, redo button, a shortcut to the organiser and a shortcut to the welcome screen. Depending on what you want to do, you may use different modes, edit, create or share. This is the panel bin on the right. This is the project bin at the bottom. On the left we have all of our tools and at the top we have our tool options bar. When you open up a file, different options become enabled. In this file, you can see we just have one layer because it's a photograph. We can apply different effects or add content to our layers. If you want to edit your photograph, you can head over to the quick edit mode. I always like to try Auto Smart Fix to see how that does. Immediately it's taken some of the red out and then we can play around with the sliders until we're happy with how our photograph looks. This photo is an iPhone photo, so it's always going to be a little grainy. I think it looks a little bit improved. So once I'm happy with how everything looks, I'll head back to the full edit mode. So when you've finished editing your photograph, you can go to File, Save As, and save it as a Photoshop document so that you're not saving over your original photo. Any layers you've created will be saved in a Photoshop document. I'm just going to add a frame to my photograph by clicking on the content panel and then dragging in a simple frame. Now I'll just add some text to the caption and then save my Photoshop document. In just a minute I've improved my photo, added a frame and a caption to it. In the remainder of the Fabulous Photos workshop you'll learn in detail how to apply these and other effects. For more information on Fabulous Photos head over to digitalscrapbookinghq.com slash fab and join me in Perth or buy the workshop recording.